And we're back with episode two of the Nick's Rebuild. Now, episode one, we went through year one and all that shit. Uh, we made some deals. We unresigned. We unresigned. That makes sense, right? We resigned. No one, maybe. I don't think we resigned anyone. We made some trades. We got some younger guys, and our biggest free agent signing is Pascal Siakam. Probably. Um, and I guess Christian Woods already is 76 overall. So I guess he's not too bad. Um, but yeah, this team is pretty fucking bad. So we're going to start off simulating about... We'll simulate through the month of November. Get to see where we're at. We started off 3-0. Uh, we're going to come back to life a little bit. Get a trade here for J.J. Barea and a second round pick for Ernan Gomez. Maybe I, I will trade Ernan Gomez. But we're 9-9 to start. Honestly, not too bad. I want to see the uh, the statistics on our players, though. We've got two players averaging 18. Tim Hardaway is one of them. Um, he dropped 31 this year as a season high. What was I looking for? Contract. I think I passed it. Yikes, that's a big contract. All right. Uh, Joe Harris is our third highest scorer. And Steven Adams on that big deal. Uh, why did we take Steven Adams? I think we... Uh, the draft pick, if I could remember correct. The draft pick I didn't want, so I traded for a center, and Steven Adams was that center. We got Christian Wood as well. We got a lot of big men. And not a lot of point guards. I mean, we have three guards averaging... We only have three players averaging more than one assist a game. Everyone else is averaging less. What the hell is going on? Why is he not playing? I want Vince Carter on the court. At all times. Let me go... Let me go see if I can put him in the game. I think the problem is... We have a 10-man rotation already. I'm not really willing to give up any of that bench. Because that's a nice bench. Who... I think we're just going to make an 11-man rotation. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to knock Siakam down to about 8, 12, and 18. And give 7 minutes to Vince Carter, baby. I'm sure that will change as soon as someone gets hurt. Why does Dinwiddie look like a 40-year-old? Um, well, let's see how that goes. We'll simulate... Simulate two weeks, so... Write it through here. Pau Gasol and Tony Parker for Dinwiddie and Adams. Maybe if we were in a win-now mode, but we're not. Um, we actually won three out of the five... Is he still in the lineup is the question. He is. He's averaging 2.1 now, baby. Let's go. Um, but yeah, I guess... Ooh, I should have checked this out. Jeff Hornacek. The triangle offense is not our strong seat. But it's okay. Because none of it is. Um, for sure... Ooh, Porzingis is willing to renegotiate. I think we're going to do that now. Get him on that four-year deal. See if I can save some money with him. Do 23 mil. With the bird right. He accepts it. Let's go. Uh, Ernan Gomez. He still has another year of team control. Dinwiddie might be someone I want to bring back. Courtney Lee, not exactly. Lance Thomas, I'm not even sure if I'll bring him back, but he does have the $7 million team control a year. So I guess if he wants the minimum, you can do a two-year minimum. That, that takes out the... Um, he might want more. I want him on two years. Team control, baby. Um... Like Hernan Gomez, we are definitely not going to re-sign Courtney Lee. Um, but does that take off the team control? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It automatically signs. All right, well, that will suck. But that's okay. Um, so we re-signed some of them. 
Let's simulate through the end of December. Hernan Gomez, I might trade away. Top three protected first round pick in Zaza Pachulia. Not someone I'm interested in, but the first round pick I am. And Zaza would just be finishing the year. I'm okay with this. I think this is what we're going to do. We got a backup center. Hernan Gomez is doing pretty well. From what I remember, 9-8. and eight. He's not going to be our starter, so yeah, we'll do that trade. Get Look at our team. Porzingis, he's our top player. What the fuck does Perky mean? None of these guys are unhappy yet. Only one fine, which is Vince Carter. He probably wants to go to a contender, though. Good thing is I can do anyone. Hell, give me, give me Junior Murray. They want Damon Dotson for Tom McGee. I don't think Dotson's even playing with us, to be honest, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, I forget his first name. We're at 22 and 24. Uh, let's see. How's our team doing? We got... Ooh, Neil Aquina got hurt at one point. So Dinwiddie's probably... Oh, he's back up to 10 a game, though. Dinwiddie might be our best guard. Harris at about 11 almost, which is nice. 68 defense is crazy, but hey, that's okay. Steven Adams doing 12 and 8. Porzingis is about 20 and 8. Um, it's going to be curious what we do, to be honest. I don't know what we're going to do. But we're going to keep going along. Courtney Lee's also hurt. Yeah, let's see if we just keep tugging along here. Again, we are in ninth place coming up on the trade deadline, which I think that's where we were last year. Fucking wild, man. I don't want to be in this race. We're going to simulate up to the all-star break. See if, uh, I think trade deadline comes up in between that. This is a crazy-ass trade. Frank Nielakina for Tony Parker in a top five pick. Tony Parker is already 36. Neil Aquina is 20. I don't think I can. But that that first round pick is tempting. But I'm not going to. Alright. Trade deadline here right before the Raptors game. Uh, I don't know if there's any trades I'm willing to do yet. I'll definitely take a look. Steven Adams is hurt though. Um, Tim Hardaway has been one I was thinking, but again, I think we have him under contract for too long. If someone's willing to eat that contract, maybe. Um, Joe Harris, I'm probably going to keep. Dinwiddie, I'm going to keep. Obviously, Neil Aquina has two more years on team control. Christian Wood probably wouldn't be a bad guy to try to trade, seeing as we only got him on a one-year deal. So maybe I'll try to trade him for sure. Um, outside of that... I mean, there's not many other people I want to trade. Everyone I have on multiple year, maybe Ron Baker, if anyone wants him. So Christian Wood and Ron Baker. What about Brown? All right, so we got Jalen Brown. <laughs> I didn't think two first round picks and Christian Wood would do it, but you know, I guess this is a worse Brown than you expect, which now means I am okay giving up. He's a small forward here. I'd probably make him a shooting guard. Oh, I'm definitely going to make him a shooting. And he would be a 78. I mean, maybe we'll roll. If there's no great offers for Hardaway, maybe we'll roll because to be honest with you, we're tempting. Just because, yeah, his value goes up, or his price goes up, but I might actually do that. Honestly, yeah, we'll do that. Brook Lopez is a little better. I don't know if he had his defensive re, like, resurface. I mean, he has a B plus. Okay, not too bad. As a backup center, though, the Steven Adams, who can actually shoot the ball. Not bad. 
This is going to be our lineup right now. Of course, um, Steven Adams is injured. So it's Neil Aquina, uh, Jalen Brown, Joe Harris, Christoph Porzingis, and Brooke Lopez. On the bench, we got Dinwiddie, Siakam, Grant, Zaza, and Courtney Lee. Um, when I think that's our only injury, yeah. So when Steven Adams comes back, it'll push most likely Zaza out of the lineup. What is Zaza doing? He's on fire. Zaza goaded, bro. What is this shit? Um, here we are. Westbrook, damn near triple-double. MVP. Reggie Harrison, whoever the fuck that is. Greg Monroe won six man of the year. DeAndre Jordan won Depoy, averaged two blocks a game. Harrison Barnes won most improved. Steve Kerr, coach of the year. Westbrook, Harden, 25, 7, and 8. Giannis, 23, 9, and 7. LeBron, 22, 7, and 7. DeMarcus Cousins in his first year in Chi Town, about 24, 10. Those are the All-NBA first team. Here's a look at the second teams. Uh, I'm not going to go as over it. I'm just going to quickly show you the stats. Positive if you care, but I really don't, so I don't give a fuck. Um, how does Draymond Green keep making this goddamn win? Like He's not an All-NBA player. <laughs> There's got to be one more person better than him. Like, John Wall probably had a better season. Yeah, John Wall can be an All-NBA player over Draymond Green. But no, he's on All-Defensive over Draymond instead. What? Makes no god. Kawhi Leonard! Hell, Rudy Gobert is a better player than Draymond Green. Here's the rookie of the years, or uh, all rookie teams. Not anyone I give a fuck about, though. Alright, so we missed the playoffs again. Uh, we got OKC, Westbrook winning a finals MVP. That's nice to see. 4-1. Uh, to one. Here's the team stats that we had this year. Porzingis got 28 and not even an assist a game, but he got one, one and a half blocks a game. Not too bad. Lopez ended up being our second best scorer with 16, almost 17 a game on six rebounds. Pretty much similar numbers to Porzingis. Um, I might have been Porzingis's stat line like his rookie year steven adams he did all right he was up there in rebounds per game joe harris averaged 11 dinwiddie 10 neil Aquina dislocated his right patella ow uh, he averaged about nine a game wait that might have or whatever uh jalen brown got about nine a game as well hopefully he can take a big leap next year i don't know when ron baker started getting minutes but he did all right Jeremy Grant did meh. Zaza did pretty good. He did better than Siakam. Uh, but we are paying Courtney Lee way too much to be getting four points a game. Way too much. So Vince Carter retires. Averaged about 2.1 in his final year. Metal World Peace. We got Tony Allen. He's got all these guys here. Getting scrolled through quickly. Stop if you want. I don't care. Vince Carter is the only Hall of Fame inductee. And what about jersey retirements? There is none. All right. So league meetings. We are not approving the six. No. What? No. We're not realigning the league either. Draft lottery time. Let's see if we can get a top three pick. We are projected seventh. So probably not. We got the seventh pick. Pacers got the number one pick. They didn't need that, though. All right, our head coach is gone. Um, time to, Well, fucking A. Where, where's our team? Our coaching staff's just gone. I think since we're a rebuilding team and, like, a selling team, we might take a shot on one of these, like, coaches that are usually not that great. Or don't have any offers. And the one I'm thinking about is Jason Kidd. Um, yeah, we're going to offer Jason Kidd a th fucking four-year deal. And coach the Knicks. We need a CFO as well. You seem like a good CFO. Head scout. 
Sam Cassell. He's not interested. Oh, what the hell? Can't get Jeff Hornacek back, but I don't want him. Alright, I think it's time. I think it's time to get Paul Pierce onto the team. The staff. Also, our CFO fucking declined. Oh, I guess everyone else declined us. There we go. They all accepted now. We have Paul Pierce as a head coach. Are you goddamn kidding me? Oh, my God. All right, so we got, this is a bad draft class. So we are projected the seventh pick, which if I go by the fucking DEA rank or whatever, uh, that would be George Sharp, a small forward here, which would be a nice improvement from a god awful Uh, Alfred Simmons, they said not to scout. Alright, there we go. We'll do that. Oh, wait, no, we won't. Fuck you and you. Maybe you and you. There we go. Um, but we'll see if we pick up anyone. Um, a lot of these guys that I just brought in for a personal workout won't even be on the board. So let's see who's available by our pick. All right, so we received 23 trade offers. I think that was the same as last year, too. Um, I think before uh, George Sharp went to the Heat. We could get him, though. Load up on picks. We get Noel Pope. Um, let me see who's on the board. All right, none of these are that great. I think I want that trade. I wonder if I can get it back. You, it's my pick. What do you mean? They're gonna make me. So the whole fact Oh my god, they told me I can make the trade. Now oh, fuck that, I want, I, what was the trade? I want that trade. Motherfucker, dude. You told me I could do the trade. That's why I... Position rank one, position rank two. Oh my god, that just ruins it all. I don't even know who I want. Like, I don't want any of these guys.
We'll go Pete Hale. To be honest with you, that might probably be the best one. So we'll do Pete Hale. I didn't want him, but I didn't get a choice. That's wild, bro. They gave me a shot to trade for George Sharp, but then it didn't let me again. I guess I basically got the same player at a different position, so... Whatever, we got a new center at least. I'm gonna bring Jeremy Grant back, even though he wasn't that great last year. We got two team options already accepted. Hopefully Frank Nilakina can come back strong. Marcus Saul declines his option, same with Jimmy Butler. Shocker! Could have told you a million reasons why that one was going to happen. There's a few guys that we do not have under contract. Guys like Ron Baker and Zaza. Uh, basically guys I don't give a fuck about. So let's see. No qualifying offers. Let us see. We have 14 players. And we cannot offer a contract to anyone it looks like. Carmelo's back in the free agency. Uh, now he's got a three-year, $74 million contract from the Nets. Um, looking at the team, one thing I definitely think I need more than not is an extra guard. Preferably point guard. Neil Akeem is hurt, and we only have four guards total. So, you knock a guard off the four guard total. That, that makes three if you don't know basic math. Um, just who do I want? I can go someone younger like TJ McConnell. To be honest with you, I kind of want Sean Livingston. <laughs> you can never go wrong with Livingston. Okay, never mind. We're going Rondo. I like Rondo way more. You can't put my favorite player of all time in the free agency and expect me to not go with him. We're going to renounce both their rights because I don't want either of them back. There we go. Who signed? LeBron James re-signs with the Cavs. I didn't even know he was available. Resigns with the Grizzlies, resigns with the Timberwolves. I didn't, oh yeah, this was during the season. So some of these guys were not available. They resigned during the season. Got it. Took the three-year, $74 million contract. And resigned D'Angelo Russell to a max deal. I don't know how the fuck they did that, but they did. I guess the big surprise so far has been Gary Harris to... 76ers. I'm not interested in anyone else, so. Alright, so we got Porzingis going up to an 89. Not bad. We got Steven Adams staying still. Brooke Lopez going down, but he's a veteran. Jalen Brown. If I only have one camp again, it's going to be untapped potential for Jalen Brown. I hope everyone knows that. Um, Neil Aquina. He went down in perimeter defense, but up in the midi, so he became a better offense player. That's the problem right there, because physicals, I'm pretty sure, is related to injury. Pretty sure it is related to injury. Overall durability, 79. That is not great. Dinwiddie went up in mid-range, which is nice. 
Joe Harris. Who the fuck is that on a bike? Pascal went up to a 75. Probably won't be that great. Neither will most of these guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got Rondo. Courtney Lee's got to go, man. We got one more year of his contract. All right, so we have two this time. So we're definitely going to do untapped potential with Jalen Brown. But then what do we do after that? I assume another untapped potential for a young guy. Could do Steven Adams, but I don't think I want to. I think it's see Occam again. 25 years old. Got him on another deal. We do Neil Aquina. I think it's smarter to do Neil Aquina. Let's do Neil Aquina. Get some to an A minus. Yeah, that's better. That is good. Let's go on to next season. So Neil Aquina is now healthy. So it's him, Jalen Brown, Joe Harris, Porzingis, and Steven Adams with Lopez, Siakam, Dinwiddie, Grant, and Rondo sneaking into the 10. There's really no one else I would rather, so that's great. Game one is against the Timberwolves here. Just like the end of last episode, we're going to end off jumping into a game. Even though we're up nine, and I think we could hold our lead comfortably, I'd rather try to blow it. Steven Adams, baby, let's go. Almost got a three second there. What is going on? Why are we running a play as I'm trying to pass you the ball? Shooting foul, what? Steven Adams, baby. Offensive juggernaut. Jalen Brown, baby. Oh, come on. You can't make that yet? We should still be good in hindsight. Good. We're good. Give it to someone that can shoot a free throw. Oh, timeout. Oh, we can call a timeout there. That a boy, Paul Pierce. Way to be a coach, baby. All right, we got Jalen Brown shooting clutch free throws in his fur. No, first first game as a Nick, if you know what I mean. He missed it, motherfucker. As a matter of fact. I'm going to go gigantic here. I want Siakam at the three. I want Grant at the two. I want, excuse me, Jalen Brown at the one. I don't want anyone shooting over us. Like, at this point, I can deal with a bucket in the paint over small people. Like, that happens sometimes. No one better be shooting over us. We just left them wide open. Now, the problem is I don't really trust any of these guys to shoot, so I'll give this ball right back to Porzingis. Adams, baby. There we go. We made it five points. We wasted about eight seconds doing it. Beautiful basketball, baby. One point. He's got 21, 7, and 1. Can we stop leaving him open, please? Because if they foul fast enough... Are you f Oh no. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. 3 2 zone. I don't give a fuck what you have to do. He missed it. Thank God, bro. Jesus Christ. What was that? Jeremy Grant. That's why you don't play shooting card, I guess. 19 and 10 for Towns. Butler 14, 9 and 4. Went 6 for 16. Missed the game winning shot though. Uh, that's about it. Uh, Steven Adams, Jalen Brown, Brooke Lopez. I didn't even, I forgot about him. Oh uh, yeah, did he foul up? No, he had five fouls. Oh, that was Jalen Brown. Wait, no, that's that's plus minus. You fucking dope. Uh, so Danilo Kina oh, yeah. was had a the best plus minus on our team, and he fouled out. 
All right, well, that'll do it for part two. We went through exactly one year, like, to the day, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see if we can win, like, something here this month. Guys, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later. I am out. Peace.